If you've driven your car at all in the last week, it may look like it needs a bath, but getting it clean now is important and not just to make it look better. Jennifer Krause is joining us live with more and uh, Jen, uh, your van, uh, as uh, all of ours does, uh, looks like it could use a good wash, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's got, it still has, got, has a bit of snow, ice, salt, that gray, dusty grime residue all over it, as most people's cars do. And as you say, you want to get it off not only to make it look better, but if you don't, it can be dangerous. If you've got one of those backup cameras, that residue can cover it and obscure your view when you're trying to back up. And a lot of newer models have advanced sensors and cameras all around the car that need to be clean and clear in order for them to work and do what they need to do. Winter driving can be messy. And according to Consumer Reports, a dirty car isn't just gross, it can actually be dangerous. All the salt, spray, snow, and road grime that gets onto a vehicle in the winter time could obscure the radar and the cameras and the different sensors that you use for your safety systems. And while it doesn't mean that they won't work all the time, they may not be there when you most need them. So it's important to give your safety sensors a little extra care in the winter. The one you're going to use the most is the backup camera. So take a bucket of water, a little soap, and you're just going to want to go underneath, find the exposed camera. If your car has parking assist, be sure to wipe away any debris from the bumper sensors. Rear body panels house blind spot monitoring radars, so remove snow and salt so they can continue to detect objects out of your view. And many new cars have radar sensors behind the front grille, so keep that area clean of snow as well. If your car has forward collision or lane departure warning, you'll need to pay extra attention to the windshield area where the camera and sensors are usually mounted. If you don't get it clean, those sensors may get triggered when they shouldn't. So you're going to want to clean these and make sure that these are clear before you start driving. One final thing to consider, a 360 degree camera system is on some vehicles, they're usually under the mirror area. You're going to want to reach under here, make sure that these are clean just like you did the front and rear cameras. Now, once you have everything clear and clean, other things you can do during the winter, number one, check your tire pressure. I know a lot of cars, when the temperature drops, the sensors show that you've got low tire pressure. Check your tire treads and always make sure that you have at least half, if not a full tank of gas. And if you drive an EV car, make sure that you have at least 20% charge. 